What's up guys, this is Tarman1489 and this is day 28, I think, of the Everyday January video series. And um, please, as usual, check out the other dudes doing Everyday January videos, links will be down below. And today, um, um, I just want to do like, I have like a like small nitpick, kind of a small rant that I'd like to do. Um, uh, I've been noticing, it's, it's a trend especially with Warner and their TV releases, releases, sorry. And um, uh, Summit did it right now with the movie-only version of Red, is that they haven't put lossless audio on the Blu-rays. Um, I, don't, I don't know, we, we're, in, we're in 2011 now, and this is just retarded that they don't have any lossless audio on these releases. Warner just, I don't know why, they don't put any lossless audio on their TV shows. And I was watching Clone Wars Season 2, and um, uh, how amazing the audio should have been, but it's not. It's just ridiculous. Um, um, Warner, I don't know what you're doing. And then Summit, right now, um, uh, Red was released like last week, I think it is. And there was, on the movie only edition, it, it was like $13, I think. And um, uh, you don't have lossless audio, you just have regular Dolby Digital. What is with that? This is like, the, I think this is the first movie that's been a new release that doesn't have lossless audio that's been filmed recently. This is crazy. It's not a catalog title. It's a day and date release. Um, uh, and it's weird because then the special edition actually has lost this audio, so it's just like they didn't give you special features in that movie only version and they didn't give you lost this audio. So, what the hell is the point of buying that Blu ray? I don't know. I just feel like if it's a Blu ray, it should have 1080p, a good quality transfer, and lossless audio, and that's the bare, bare minimum of what it should have. So, what do you guys think? Do you care? No. Am I just crazy here? Tell me what you think. Please comment, rate, subscribe as usual, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.